Hey, my friends, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. This is your inspirational report of the day. Just so you know, my name is Kevin Cross and you are all welcome here. New subscribers, existing existing subscribers, you're all friends of the channel as far as I'm concerned. Let me go start, start with uh, the credits. We are using Happier Me Affirmation Cards, the 22 Archangels Oracle Deck, a brand new one by Kyle Gray. This is our card of the week. And we are using Animal Guides Tarot Deck by Radley Valentine. Again, it's a relatively new deck. It's been reworked. There was a, uh, another deck that he brought out several years ago and then decided to spruce it up a little bit all right um this is a number two in angel numerology and the number two day which is by adding the fifth month five with the 25th day 2024 add those numbers up you get a 20 you reduce 20 it becomes a two this energy uh the numerology numerology I can't say that word. Numerological energy <laughs> is to keep going and keep the faith alive. Interesting. Be gentle with yourself. Focus on love. Focus on joy. Be sensitive. Be kind. Be cooperative. And allow yourself to be vulnerable today. Challenge any and all negative perceptions and watch your thoughts. Watch your thinking. Watch your judgments. Watch your negative stuff that you're saying. Ask for help when you need it. If you feel like I'm falling down, I need help getting back up. Self-confidence in all of these changes require a positive push. A positive push from your guides, from your angels, from your friends to get you where you need to be. All right, let's start with the Happier Me affirmation cards. And I pulled one for you earlier. I am in control of my thoughts and feelings and choices. Just what we just got through saying. And then you are the creator of your own life. What you think about yourself becomes your reality. Be gentle with yourself. Compassion and trust yourself. You control your reality. Nobody else. We are quickly falling into the habit that mankind brought upon us that it's other people's fault that what we have going on is a result of someone else's this, that or the other thing. In a way, it can cause these feelings and these thoughts. And in a way, it does relieve us from anything that we feel uh, we don't need to be responsible for. Well, guess what, people? We are responsible. We should be responsible. All right. Um, Kyle Gray's The 22 Archangel Oracle Deck. It is about to launch in some places. Um I have no idea how I got on this early subscription, but I did. Uh, and our card of the week is faith. So faith is another reminder that we're in control of what we do. However, we've got to have the faith. We've got to have the power. We've got to have the truth. That We've got the ability to move mountains. We just have to get our energy there. We have to get our thoughts there. And we truly, truly, truly do have to believe that it's possible. Now, you know, I think anyone who turns to divination, turns to spirituality, turns to a life of spiritual service or belief is going to go through what I have said is the ditch of doubt. If we have changes and we start to believe in a spiritual side, we start to believe in the power of angels, the power of spirit guides, the power of our ascended relatives that leave their physical and go to the non-physical. When we start believing and seeing evidence that this is true for us, we want to shout to the rooftops. In those changes, we have to balance out what is real, what is not real? Well, real can be interpreted as physical. This table's real. This stuff is real because it's physical, because we see it, feel it, touch it, know it. However, the same 
principles apply when you close your eyes and someone says to you, imagine what chocolate tastes like. If you've ever eaten chocolate, you can imagine what that tastes like. Uh, imagine what this feels like. If you've ever uh, touched a soft uh, plush toy, you know what that feels like. If you, if they say in meditation, I've often said, place your feet into the sand. You're not at the beach. You're not anywhere where there's sand, but you know the feeling and you bring back the idea that my feet are in the sand. These are things I'm talking about when it comes to trusting the non-physical. Faith has been with us all week to trust our abilities in all of those things, to create miracles. The impossible is becoming possible. Right now, things are moving at a really rapid pace and to keep pulling people who don't believe into the believing is becoming somewhat challenging for the spirit world because there's going to become a time where you aren't going to have a lot of time to sit on your laurels, especially if you want to go teach spirituality. Uh, all right, we're going to use the angel guides uh, tarot. And for that, I bring in my spirit guides, which is Beatrice and um, Gertrude. And these two appeared to me last fall, Gertrude first as a fairy fluttering around, giving me fits of the giggles. And then I quickly realized these are energies that are here to help me. And they show up the way we are able to see them. And then once they lock on to the frequency that we're able to understand, and then it lands. Oftentimes I see them in a certain scenario, which some might feel like that's crazy. Where are all? Oh, today they are inside a church and they are sitting opposite each other uh, as if they were in pews close to the altar. Okay, Gertrude is praying. Beatrice is actually praying with her. They're just sitting with their hands in prayer uh, they have their head covered and bowed. Um, so there must be a great presence about the world, about, and they said the great presence is you. There's our card. They say the great presence is you. The great presence that they're bowing to is you. Your essence and your energy. Your, um, your, your thoughts and your feelings. What you're generating is powerful and they're giving you they're paying homage to you they're paying respect to you this is what they brought to the table now our card of the day is the nine of air the nine of air would be in traditional tarot nine of swords uh it is a sort of a mental thought process um sort of how everything is 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 comes from a thought comes from an idea and it's represented in this card by the sea lion and in this image we see the sea lion perched upon a great rock and the waters beneath the sea lion are pretty choppy they are pretty challenging but look right up over here we have either the sun or the full moon I want to say it's the sunshine, but it could be the full moon. I would say it's the sunshine, being as the sky is light, not dark. The message that goes with it, your worries and fears are not real. We just got through saying all of that. They're fueled by focusing on negative thoughts. We just got through talking about the number two energy. Watch what you're thinking about. Give yourself a positive push off the party which gives power to that energy which you're afraid of stop worrying let go of fear and everything will be okay the sea lion is the spirit within you the sea lion is coming to you and saying you have got everything it takes to work your way out of whatever situation you feel is strangling your thinking, your feeling, your heart, all of that. My isms, which I should have said earlier, I am of purpose. I am decisive. I am loving. I am appreciated. And I am determined. Sometimes when we're in fear and we're in doubt, when we walk through the corridor of change 
and we're going down that hallway not really knowing how long this hallway is how many offices we've got to pass how much further we've got to go how much more these challenges are going to bring it can be daunting so this is where we say the prayer now i just chose these before i shuffled those before i brought into faith i just chose them uh, to see let me bring all this energy in and then work a day or work a message for you dear god you could say universe source energy creator whatever you want to call god that's the power that put you here to begin with thank you for entering where you already abide this prayer comes from one of marianne williamson's books but it's so powerful when we are facing our difficulties when we are facing challenges and what i now know and i'm going to go over to this camera so i can see you um in my recent experiences where there are changes it starts with the desire the thought to go serve other people and what i do in my work uh is that I've done it since I was a little boy and I've just got goosebumps. So I know all my guardian angels and my spirit guides are with me confirming it. When I get goosebumps and the hair on my arms, but usually it's it's really like a softness going down my back. That's my energy telling me that there are spirits around me that are just letting me go forward and let me learn this stuff. Ooh, um I, some of you might get goosebumps. Other people might say, God, it feels like somebody's walking over my grave. There are all kinds of things, that say, uh, um, 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 quotes that we use to describe our connection with spirit. The connection with spirit, if you open yourself up to that, is greater and greater, clearer and clearer and more unbelievable. However, we have to raise our vibration up because spirit world is on a vibrational level and if the vibrational level that we have is way on down here they the way that vibrational works is difficult to get down there it's a little bit like flying a jumbo jet that jumbo jet has to climb up to a certain uh elevation and it has to move at a quick pace to get to where it's going so that you get from A to B in less time that it will take you to walk or drive. This is in a similar way. So you can imagine if the jumbo jet was going that fast and was much lower, I don't know what would happen. Probably ridiculous. I don't even know if it would be even possible. Anyway, I'm just using that as an example. Um, Gertrude, Beatrice, are you helping me with all this? No, they said you've got it. You're moving forward with it. It more and more and more and more and more and more and more of this understanding of this wisdom of this divine inspiration is going to be hitting each and every one of us. I am no different to you. I'm no different to the next person. We're all getting divine guidance, divine inspiration, and divine messages for us, each one of us. When we reach a challenge, which I've done recently, and things change, which appear on our physical world to be out of alignment, that's when fear, right? Fear pops in and we say, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can deal with this. I don't know what's going to happen. And that fear manifests into a physical situation, which is just what this card said. Concentrate on the negative, concentrate on what's not working, concentrate on not what's not going right for you. And that's exactly what will show up. It isn't showing up because it wants you to have this. Although the ego says, yeah, we'll keep you in fear. We'll keep you, we'll keep you really upset with people. It isn't done in that vein. What it's done to do is to get some of us to say, I, I need out of this. I need help with this. What I received yesterday, I uh, was having a conversation with someone actually doing a reading for a really wonderful, incredible psychic. And she knows who she is and she's probably listened to this. Unbelievably talented. And I was literally in the presence of greatness, not just by giving a reading for my friend, but by looking at the cards that were showing up and by getting information from some pretty powerful guides and angels. While I am delivering this message, I'm getting a second message about my own situation saying, 
you have to change your mindset. You've got to change the way you feel about something. And I never realised that what I had been saying, the story I had been telling, poverty, ruin, lack, not happening, not doing this, this is, this is, this is, this, the struggle that I was speaking, the story of struggle that I have been speaking, had to do with my relationship with finances, with money, with this, which all linked to the relationships that I, I learned when I got here. You know, we come in here, we don't have any concept of what physical world is about that, you know, you want the power on, you got to pay the power company. You know, you want a house, you got to buy it. Physically use energy to buy it. And you got to jump through hoops to get it. All of these things we learn when we come here. However, if our formidable years are filled with someone else's relationship with it, whether it's health, whether it is um, whatever that is, education, anything. If those formidable years have been filled with programming that goes in, we start adopting that programming. I started adopting it. I can't speak for you. However, the key and the secret is to unravel it. And I'm using this big personal story to tell you what I learned was I have to get passionate about loving it, about loving it like you love chocolate. I don't know why I keep using chocolate, but you know, uh, the joy, the love, the passion, the oh my yes, I can't stand it. I want more of it. Come on, bring it, bring it. And once that goes on, once you get into this human giggle box of oh, I can't even stand it. This is this is unbelievable. You'll get there. And the higher and the brighter and the lighter and the more vibrational energy that j just keeps going with that, you can't stand it. Oh, my Lord, this is coming. This is coming. That's coming. I don't know how this is coming. The more you understand it and you get it, the more that that comes, then you've worked out how to change it when the negative claptrap happens next time. And we are at 16 minutes into this one. I'm going to let this go. Um, and there's a reason for that. Listen, until tomorrow, I love you. I respect you. I love doing this for you. Your comments are golden. Get down there and comment no matter what you say. And we will talk to each other tomorrow. Bye for now. Hey, everybody. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.